Well, good morning. My name is Royal. I'm in my backyard in Hearst, Texas. This devotional is for Tuesday, September the 5th. Thank you so much for being here. I do these Monday through Friday, and, and I hope you're blessed. Uh, I'm doing a series this week uh, called uh, Choose. Uh, it's based on a, a message I did Sunday called uh, God Wants Us to Laugh. So we have a choice every single day, every situation. We can either cry or we can laugh. We can either cry or we can laugh. And I'm going to give you regular choices this week that put you in that mode of either crying or laughing. Okay, let me start us off with prayer. Heavenly Father, today may we keep your name holy above every other name. May we, would you give us what we need to be who you want us to be. Lord, um, would you forgive us of the things we have done wrong and point out the things we're doing we need to ask forgiveness for. May we be, uh, may we forgive those who hurt us so we're better and not bitter. Lord, would you protect us from the many temptations that surround us all day long and negative things. And Lord, today we'll give you glory for everything that happens in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to give you, you can choose this and it will keep you sad or cry, or you can choose that and it will keep you joyful or laugh, okay? Go back, by the way, go back and look at tomorrow's and you can see kind of the introduction to this. Cry. You can, you can be sad or cry by controlling your own life thinking that you're the one that's in control, not being obedient to God or looking for God's will. It will make you cry. Why? It will stress you out. We've been created to have a relationship with God. God created us in His image to have a relationship with Him. And, and, when, and the reason He sent Jesus Christ is so that our sins would be forgiven, so that we could have that righteous connection with God, which, which puts us in a position to where our needs are, are fulfilled. We're, we're, uh, we're made whole because we have God in our life. So uh, we look to God for our guidance. And when we do, if you wanna laugh, so if you wanna cry, choose to control your own life. If you wanna laugh, if you want joy, trust God to lead. Trust God to lead. Why? Nobody loves you more than he does. Nobody's more powerful than him. God is everywhere. He knows every single thing about you. He knows every bad choice you've ever made. He knows every bad choice your parents ever made. He knows every single thing about you. So as you look at his truth as his word and you go forward and allow his spirit to lead you, then you have fulfillment and, you're, and you stay in a great relationship with God. As a matter of fact, there's a place where the Apostle John writes in Galatians 5, here are the things that happen in your life if you allow the Spirit to lead you. Now remember, Christianity is different than just religion. Religion says this is the law. Uh, Christianity says this is the relationship that we have with God. So, if we have that, here we go. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. If, the Holy, if you allow the Holy Spirit to guide you. The Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. You ready? Love. Number one, love. Joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Boy, how many times have you just blew up and got angry without even thinking about it, you know? My emotions are that way. If I'm not, if I am not purposely focusing on God guiding me, my emotions can go south quick. And most, and most of us do. Even those of us that have a slow fuse, your emotions still go south. You're just blocking them and keep, keeping them in until you blow up. But the Holy Spirit produces joy, love, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Hey, you're having trouble with your ex? Pray it. Pray and get close to God. Ask God to guide you before you go. Go to 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7, and pray out the love list. If you're, if you're struggling with your boss, if you're struggling with your job, if you're struggling that you haven't got this done, or your finances are struggling this month, or whatever, then you go to uh, then you go to the 
get with the Holy Spirit and let him produce those things in your life. All right, that was the first choice today. Choose to control my own life or choose to trust God to lead. I can either choose to be sad or cry or I can choose to be joyful and laugh. So here's my prayer for today. Ready? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for your love. I know that stress is the result of trying to be the one in charge of my life. Lord, may your spirit lead me all day long. May I experience the fruits of your spirit and may others be influenced in a positive way by my presence. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. That's for today, Tuesday, September 5th. I hope that encourages you. There will be more encouragement coming this week. I, I hope it always is, but this week I hope even more. Uh, I look forward to your comments. I will reply to them. Uh, share this with others. Like, uh, uh, subscribe, all those good things. Anyway, God bless. See you tomorrow. The good Lord will and the creek don't rise. But until then, love God, love people, and he'll use you to change the world. I promise.